Hi, I'm Mark Hinchliffe, motorbike writer. Robert Johnson went to the crossroads and sold his soul for his musical chops. I'd go to the crossroads and sell my soul for this, the Victory Crossroads. What a magnificent looking machine it is. This is the sort of bike you get when you want to go cross country. Well, you can actually get the Victory Cross Country. It has the three quarter fairing, the hard bags and the top box. This is a little bit more stripped down, the soft bagger. It's, it's a classic sort of look and, and I really like it. It's the most comfortable touring bike I've been on for me for my size. When I sit on this, everything just falls into place so nicely. The seat is really comfortable. It's dished out quite well. But the only thing I find is I'm a little bit high and I get a bit of uh, a little bit of turbulence from the windscreen. But this is a magnificent touring bike. It's got great brakes. It's got ABS on it. It's got cruise control up here. And the engine just pulls from nothing. You can be in sixth gear at 100 kilometers an hour, just over 2,000 revs, wind the throttle on, do what you like. Like all Victories, this is powered by the 106 V-Twin Freedom engine. It's a really talky machine, it's nice and refined, it's quite quiet and it's driven by a six-speed shift which is getting more and more smooth and less notchy and it comes through here, we've got a, a belt drive so that's low maintenance, very quiet very refined. The styling theme of this bike is, is terrific. I love the way it swoops. You know, it swoops down here. There's this arc even in the floorboards and the way the midsection here and the tank, everything's like a big teardrop swoop and the fender and the saddlebags will follow the same line. Very consistent, very uniform. Top marks for that. Another great aspect of the crossroads is its ability to handle all roads. I've been on some very, very bumpy sections of tarmac and the rear shock is really well set up, didn't bottom out, didn't get turfed out of the saddle. The front is suspended well as, as well and it doesn't wallow in the corners, which gives you good dynamic leaning range. And because the floorboards are slightly arced up, you won't touch down a whole lot of times. You will eventually reach that limit, but it's a nice, soft, smooth caress of the tarmac. If you're going touring, you need some good luggage. And these are hard bags, actually, that are lined in leather. So it's nice and soft. It looks like that soft bagger. And they've got the clever little plastic clips behind here. So they easily undo. And then you can fit a backpack in there. Okay. If you're going to go two up, I'd get the accessory uh, sissy bar because this is all you've got to hang on to and you'd feel like a bit of a cowboy on a bucking bronco. When you get serious about touring, but you still want to do it with plenty of style, under $25,000 right away, this is the bike to consider. I love it. For my size, it's the most comfortable touring bike.